Yeah. Everything we've done so far and the whole process definitely is, comes first from the script. Um, and we've had you know, many, many, many meetings with David. This is the first film I think I've ever worked on where the process continued through shooting to, to develop the designs for everything. I guess there have been other films made about uh, games, going into games and, and video games and that kind of thing. Um, and David's take on it, of course, is a little bit different than most people's. Mm -hmm. this, has, yeah. this has nice shades mm -hmm. and nice stuff, uh, if it just looked less painty. The script is very complex. It works on many different levels, and you're constantly going into a different level of the game. It was hard. It was very hard, but very challenging and fun. And our goal is to not create any special effects. The goal is to just create moments and create characters that are totally seamless and enhance the story. The movie, even though it's the first movie that I've done CGI effects, computer effects, um, it, they're not very visible. Most of them are enhancements to the on-set effects. You know, it's not, you won't say, oh my God, what a great computer effect. Uh, there's nothing in it that I think will, will come across that way. Look at that huge bug. It's got two heads. It's not a bug. It's a mutated amphibian. It's a frog, salamander, lizard thing. Fire out of times. Most of it is physical, was on set, and of course the actors love that because they're not, you know, reacting to some green screen and shrieking and not knowing what it is that they're shrieking at because it hasn't been designed yet. Uh, here they're actually physically touching it, dropping it, picking it up, uh, reacting to it, injecting it, whatever they have to do. It's actually physically there and they have a physical relationship with it. I found this in my soup and I'm very upset. The simplest thing Design-wise, was probably the gristle gun, this guy right here. He, he was, just because it's, it is what it is. The first time you say there's a gun made from bone from an animal, you, know, you, you can get that. You can, that's something you can really sink your teeth into and, and design. <laughs> I think the next most difficult design is this guy, uh, which is our two-headed our two-headed mutant. This was probably one of the, one of the um, most difficult design because we had to be so true to the story about why it was there, what's its, what is the, the purpose of this creature in the film. It's one of the first strange things we see. With the pod, and what we had to do is then again just sit down and talk about it. What's the emotional impact we want from the pod? You know, we want it to be gross. We want people to go, Ooh, uh, we want people to like the pod and want a pod and want to cuddle with the pod. This is very user friendly. We don't have puppeteers doing anything. They just, she just holds the pod and when she plays with it and she turns it on, it works. But we didn't have to work that much with both Jennifer and Judy because they were both so into it to begin with. Uh, Jude, we, you know, he works a lot with the gristle gun. We showed him a little bit about it, how to click things together and what it's about, and then he just ran with it. You have to know and be able to justify why everything is in there and what is it doing there. Just like anything else, just like every actor, the effect, in my eyes, the way I try to deal with these things is what's the goal of the special effect? What's the goal of the creature? What's the pod's goal? Play with me. 